If you've already heard of Walter Morgan, then you might know him as world-renowned artist Sybil Andrews' husband. While the two spent their entire lives together here in Campbell River, they had separate adventures before moving from England to the North Island. Walter was born in Hampshire in 1894. Like many young men in England, he was injured while serving in the military during World War I. In 1916, Walter suffered a gunshot wound to his left forearm, which resulted in its amputation. He then fashioned his own prosthesis arm of aluminum and leather into the shape of a hook. This shape allowed him to work as a carpenter, machinist, and boat builder for the remainder of his career. Walter met Sybil while working at the British Power Boat Company during the Second World War. They were married in 1943 and decided to move away from war-ravaged England. In 1947, the pair made their way to the West Coast at Walter's suggestion. Walter and Sybil arrived in Campbell River on a Greyhound bus in 1947. There, they settled into a blue seaside cottage in what were the outskirts of Willow Point. There, they would live the rest of their lives. By the next year, Walter had established his own practice as a boat builder and machinist titled Morgan Boat Works. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. All looks very good. He also built furniture, bowls, candle holders, you name it, all inside his studio, which has recently been restored for use. Walter made most of the furniture the couple owned, including the pieces we have in our collection. This ringed wooden bowl was typical of the carver's style. Some of the furniture he made did not require nails to be built, though he was known to use his prosthesis as a hammer. In addition to boats and furniture, Walter also made wooden rocking horses for the Hudson's Bay Company. However, it was Sybil who finished them with an excellent paint job. Walter and Sybil were also talented musicians. Sybil taught music lessons out of her cottage in addition to art lessons, and Walter played the trumpet in the Campbell River and District Band for years. Next time you're at the Sybil Andrews Cottage, take a closer look at some of the woodworkings. It might be... Made by Walter Morgan.